So I'm filming this one actually on my handheld picture camera today. Um, yesterday was pretty damn action packed really. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty action packed. Uh, I suppose I have to start with two days ago and I did the the island spinning session two days ago. That's when kind of everything started to implode a little. It seems as though water got in the camera case somehow and Although the footage sounds fine, there's no problems, the next day when I pulled out the camera to use it, um, there was static all over it. M lots and lots and lots of static. You couldn't hear me, it was cutting in and out. But all I can assume is that somehow water got in there and, and burnt out the, the mic part of the GoPro. So... Yesterday, I didn't know this, obviously. I didn't do any editing the day before, and yesterday I went out and had a blinder of a day. Got my first Dorado, which was awesome. It's great to get your first Dorado on board. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, it was, it was big action. I also got a Sierra, which was unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great day. I, I wish the camera was working perfectly for it because the Dorado capture was, was action-packed. Being on a kayak, it's always chaos. They're zipping all over the surface, real screaming. I'm trying to pull in the other line. It, it was it was awesome fun. It was such awesome fun. It's such a shame that the the audio is not there because for me anyway, without the audio, the video feels lifeless. One of my mates was like, "Oh, you just put nine inch nails over the top of it," but it's not. To be honest, it's. When I've seen videos like that where they've just put music straight over the top, it's, it's, I know, it lacks life for me. I love hearing the real screaming, the drag going, the F-bombs flying. <laughs> so, yeah, yesterday was a great day. Finally got my Dorado for the season on the kayak, which is awesome. I know it wasn't big, but it's a start. Definitely, I'm very happy. Woo! Woo! And then came the Sierra incident where I captured a Sierra and it clearly shows it on video. I broke my number one rule of putting the fish's head up towards the front of the kayak. And the fish got out of my grip and yeah, voila, that's what's left. That is what's left. That was probably some of the most painful stuff and I was actually quite thankful that there was no audio for that because man I was like yelling and I was in pain I was it was hurting especially trying to free the fish because it, it hooked with the fish so the fish was thrashing and it was pulling on the hook on my hand and yeah yeah so learning curve hey Always learning. I thought I learnt from that other incident, which it wasn't really that bad, but this one went through and out. I was actually really lucky. I'm glad it came out the other side because if it had just gone in without an exit wound, I wouldn't have been able to squeeze the barbs down and pull the thing out. So, 
yeah, I would have had to try cut it and I didn't have any cutters, so it would have been a nightmare. So very thankful, very, very, very thankful. But uh, yeah, what a day. This afternoon though, I'm, I'm, I didn't fish this morning. I was a bit tired, ham wound, back is killing me from falling over when I went out and tried to swim out to that island. It's really actually, it's actually more sore than the hand is, to be honest, my back. I really whacked it. <laughs> anyway, it's been one of those couple of days, but the fishing's hot, so I'm going to go fish. I'm going to fish till about 12 o'clock. It's just before 10 now. I put two hours in. And to take the camera out again, last night I put it in front of the fan. I'm going to try the camera anyway. This could be the last one though, so yeah, yeah, it could be the last one. Been a good run though, three months worth of footage, so I'm, I'm very, very, very happy. I feel like I've, I've done what I wanted. The last month would have been sweet because it really does look like it's shaping up to be really hot action this month, but it's the way it goes. It's been a good, good experience anyway, so. I'll probably do it again, I reckon. Alright. Here's to the good fishing.